Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Witcher 3 down in the catacombs. As we were last time. Uh, there's like there's two things we've got to do down here, isn't there? We've got to go find these these Gwent cards as a reward. Um And we've got to go find out about this Professor and the Mutagen thing. Which is interesting. So collect your reward for solving the nocturnal mysteries. Yeah, we don't want to do that yet. Donut. I was even looking at these quests going, eh, that'd be fine. Find the Gwent Society in Beauclair's Chambers. Yeah, we are going back down again. Well, hey. <laughs> Little bitty bitty combat roll. Right, I can't imagine it's all going to be sunshine and flowers down here. So, I'm um, expecting trouble. I wouldn't be surprised. Make it double? No. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if the Gwent Society ain't all pleased about having a non-member placed in their chambers. Who knows? What's this? Loot. These don't look good. What is this? Silver, unrefined copper ore. Yellow armor dye. Hang on. Hang on. Can we dye our armor in this version? What? Can we really dye our armor in this version? That'd be pretty crazy. Where's my thing? There is. Torchy, torchy. A quick look down this corridor. I think it's a dead end. Or not. Uh, looks a bit spidery to me. I don't like it. What's this? Wow, a little under underwater river section. Oh, what a pleasant place. Oh, hello. Well, I guess I guess we're stealing from the dead. Sorry, chaps and chapettes. Just want to have a quick look around. Ah, oh, but there's so many good things. This is this is this is not even. This would just be a terrible waste if no one took these and used them. What the crap? Is that a door? There's a door. And it'd be locked. All right. Okay. Whoop. Let's go find this crypt. For our Gwent player. Sorry. Just, just making sure we're not going to run into any kind of monsters. More loot. This isn't crypty. Wow. Fresh food. And stuff. So confused. I have it all. Bugger it. Chamber Louis mentioned. Gotta be. Okay. Search the chamber until you find a place for the urn. <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, hello. Gents also looking for that Gwent club. What the poking devils? Who are you? Who sent you? So many questions, so few answers. Blimey, we're a plumbing philosopher. Get the swarmy cat diddler, lads. Kit. <sighs> if I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. Tell me about it, Geralt. Tell me about it. Oh, get that smeg out of the court and stairs straight away. Are you kidding me? Give me my Quinn. There we go. How long are you going to make me wait? I have the upper ground, you fools. That's fine. One quick murder amongst friends. We're friends here, but hey. <laughs> Cheeky, God's damn bloody grave. Are you kidding me? Look at that blade. <laughs> My god, that sword is fearsome. I should uh, have a quick read up on what that did. Est est torch and florins. Fine. Florins. 
good. Well, at least that's done. Protected the, uh... Protected the Gwent Chamber. Ooh. That ought to do. What ought to do? That ought to do. Ode to Gwent. Wow. Right. High time Margot paid up. That's a good point. That is a good point. What is this ode to Gwent <laughs> while we are here? Uh, we're going to be there. Is that a quest? Ode to Gwent. Purpose. Uh, pur purposeful. Wow. Oh man, there's loads. Let's have a look. Uh, proposal number seven for the anthem of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair, author Stephanie de Duve, Master Cooper. Gwent is like a ruddy wine, Gwent is a knight with a lady fine. When before you two armies clash, your cares melt off in a dash. Then you wish to, but to play, 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 but her indoors wines hit the hey, hey, hey. Such minds are dull as muddy yards to think this but a game of cards. <laughs> Gwent is my liberty, Gwent is my fraternity, Gwent relies the day's sorrow, relieves the day's sorrow, and Gwent is my morrow. Poker has had it, and dice is a bore. There's no other game that makes you want more. <laughs> there are no better satisfactions, greater than Beauclair Bells' is, is list of attractions, greater than even the Festival of Drinks or even a tipsy young minx. Uh, they can holler and shout, they can release the guards, I'm leaving home, I'm off to play cards. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I like that. He was pretty good. Obsessed. Obsessed with cards as well. Um, I could have sworn I heard. Hoyed. Heard something else there. Perhaps not, Gov. Perhaps not. Just eat ourselves a couple of Salonies while we're potting around. So we're going to go back to the lady. Yeah, we're going to have a word with her again. So we've, we've moved your husband. Come on. So that's all good. Now, tell us the location of his freaking cards. Where are you? There you are, you silly woman. Done. Now where you got those cards? Leaf the city through the Cooper's Gate. Then we are right. Our house is easily recognized. A tree atones the sign above the door. I buried the chest in the garden beneath the rose bush. Tree on a sign, rose bush. Think I got it. Might I ask what you did with Louis? True, he knew nothing in life but Gwent, but. I would still prefer he not spend eternity in a ditch or privy. Don't worry about it. Found him a nice place. Ought to feel right at home. Farewell. Yeah. That's cool. Search for a house with a tree-shaped crest outside the walls of Houseville. That sounds pretty good. Uh, but, while we were here as well, let's just... <laughs> good guys, let's do any things. Um, wasn't it this? Turn and face this range. Check the location of... Oh, right, that's right, yeah. Okay, so we'll go finish off this one, anyhow. Collection rewards, solving the mysteries. Yep, search the house with a tree-shaped crest. I think I'd rather do that for now. Which is... Uh, okay. Okay, that's not too bad. With the Marina Gate. That's where we get our reward from. Let's go get these cards first, I think. But given it's on the other side of the town... Uh, I think this is going to be a fairly peaceful romp over there. Oh, Grave Digger. Grave Digger! I will see you there. Commended you stay in your homes after dark. There we go. Stay in your homes after dark. Right, we're somewhere close by. A bit of strumpet there. Nice. Um... If it was going to sort of pseudo cheat it, to be honest, we could go searching all the houses for the appropriate looking thing. I guess we're going to have to. What was the. There was a. I've forgotten a goddamn description. Why don't I listen to this woman? 
Uh, there's a tree. Oh, I forgot what she said. Oh, gods. Uh, uh, oh, no, there we go. Search for a house with a tree shaped crest outside the walls. Tree shaped crest. A little bit bloody dark for this, isn't it? I'll tell you what. Hooded woman. Weird. Um, let's snooze till the morning. Just a couple of hours. Lovely. There we go. Sun starts to shine. Search for a house with a tree shaped crest outside the walls of Waterville. What's a tree shaped crest going to look like? Oh, that there. <laughs> the Maybe. Must be the house. This is saying about going in round the back. Maybe we can go through the front door. Nope, of course we can't. That would just be ridiculous. we we'll have to climb up and over. Uh, or a back door, that's handy. Medallion's humming. Something's not quite right. Uh, find a way in. Looks like there's possibly a route over the top. Yeah, yeah, baby. Something's not quite right. Oh, well, nothing's ever easy, is it? Get out. Um, do we really want to go in there if there's something not quite right? That's the question. We do now. Now it should be fine. There's that mysterious woman again. Ah. Uh. Not here. Uh, all right, so we'll be here somewhere. Garden key, that's lovely. So that gets us out again, which is nice. Oh, oh! Holy moly! Yeah, that isn't right. That isn't right at all. The crap! What's Put that way, get off. Put your stinking torch away, thank you. Okay, that was moon dust. Not quite the one. Let's try that one. Not really hurting them. Jeez. Get killed, you horrible. Ugh. Come on. Ugh. How one of them survives inside... Ah, oh, there we go, the rose bush. Survives inside a garden. What's it bloody live on? Cats? A local dog? Zzz. Ah, just like she said. And the Gwent cards, as promised. Oh, so sweet. What do we get? What do we get? Does it not list the cards? Uh, let's go have a look. What did we pick up? Uh, who knows? Don't know how we can tell. <laughs> uh, Skelligadex, Scoyatel. Uh, maybe? Havoc, uh, not sure. Northern Realms, nothing new there. If Guardians, maybe. But I don't think so. And the Monster Deck, no. I don't know what cards we just got given. That's ridiculous. I have no idea. Do we have a box of... Tell me we've got like a box of cards in here. Doesn't appear to be. Well, I have no idea then. Is it... Is it... No, I don't know. Locked. There we go. Thank you. Um, so we've got to collect our reward for actually doing this. God's damn thing. And that's back down south, so... <laughs> damn it. It's going to run away back. I figured we'd come and get the, the, uh, the doohickey first. As for those plant creatures, they're not all that great, I have to admit. How the hell do we get through here? This is a bit of a convoluted route round. What an awesome city, though. Yeah, those, those plant creatures, I don't like them. No, I don't like them one bit, especially in such close quarters. All right, drunk. Um, but anyhow... I'll see you back at the, uh, who was it? 
do we even know who moaned about this? Have we even met the guy who was complaining about noises in a cemetery, or was this just a... Oh, hello! How are you? Was this just a... quest off of a board, which I think it was? Ah, we'll find out in a bit. I thought it was dawn. Yeah, we can hear crickets. Crickets are a dawn creature? I don't know, I thought they were night time. We have... The Clever Clog's Tavern, eh? Okay. Someone in here needs a word with a witcher. At Aim to hop on a horse after five merry. in the morning. <laughs> hey Blondie, who blows your porridge when the bears are out to forage? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's amazing. Ah, you sir. Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes, and I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. Took care of it. Truly? The howling's gone? For good? Wonderful! Ah, to sleep in my own bed again, at long last! But, but, what was it? Some ancient filth entombed deep in the catacombs. Not quite. Yeah, tough dog. Nah, 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 nah. There's no need to lie. Nope. Just a marital spat. That's it? But they hollered like Stuart pole cats. Mm. Sorry to bother you with such a trifle. Here for your trouble. Thanks. Sweet. Easy money. Easy money. Well, sort of easy money. Now... Still, uh, I don't know what these Gwent cards are all about. We found. Did we. We must have picked them up, surely. Surely this is not a case that I have to go back to the freaking garden and pick them up because I forgot to. That doesn't seem right, but we didn't seem to have any on us. Are you kidding me? Uh, well, we're going to go off and get this basic deck next, anyhow. I just can't see any cards on my personage. That uh, would make a difference. Nuts. After all of that, it was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got, you've got, you've got the cards. They're under the rose bush. Picked them all up, and we don't have any. Yeah, I don't know. Oh well. If it wasn't there, it isn't now. Uh, inventory. Maybe we had all the cards it could give. I don't know. That'd be a bit rubbish. Should have dupes for everything. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, quests. <laughs> is what I want because um, there is, as was pointed out to me, uh, this obtaining a basic deck. It does actually exist on, on the world map because it's right there. That's where we should get the basic deck from, and it's only around the corner. So I suggest we hop over there, and it looks like we might have a smithy to go via so we can finally sharpen our swords and upgrade our armor. And hopefully, it should be permanent. Ooh, Guardian Am Embassy, Embassy. Guardian Embassy. Where's this taking me? I can't ignore you. My eyes were not deceived. Yet so far south. You, sir, of all folk in all your fame. Mm-hmm. Me, south in all my fame. Ah, oh, I've heard so much. Why, when Master Dandelion tarried in Beauclair, not a day passed without him baying out a ballad in admiration of your deeds. <laughs> yeah, unwelcome little habit of his. But what can I do for you? Ah, oh, you see my betrothed, Francois Le Goff. Vowed in my honor to bring me the head of the horrid beast they call Gretori. Mm. Couldn't have gotten you a bouquet, some sweets in a bag. Witcher, sir, you jest. A love most true demands proof for heroic deeds dedicated to the heart's captor. But alas, Francois has been gone a fortnight. Thus, I must plead with you to see what's become of him. Could you? Would you? Uh, yeah, what is this monster, first of all? This Grotore, 
Know anything else about it, mademoiselle? Judging by the name, guessing it lives in a cave. Yes. From which it prowls when hungry. By night, when all are asleep, it creeps into villages. Then, of a sudden, breaks open shutters. Reaches inside and snatches babes from their cradles so quickly, they've not the time to yelp. Hmm. Nocturnal. Long prehensile arms. Intelligent. Francois claimed he would cut the filth down in a snap. But he's been gone so long. Will you help, sir? I cannot sleep. I fear this worrying will be the death of me. I'll go take a look. Do my damnedest to get your fiancé back safe and sound. Just, uh, mind telling me where to look for him? I forget you come from afar and do not know our land. They say Grotore has its lair in the caves at the foot of the Gorgon Hills. That close to the city? Telling me no bold souls have ventured out to defeat the beast? Quite the contrary. Plenty have, but none's returned. My concern is well founded. I see. All right. High time I set off. Okay. In all due course, this lady behind us, the one with the watering can, was just weeding me out for most of that. It was quite funny. I should get her just like vacant stare at me. Man, this place is gorgeous. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's go live in those ruins over there and be done with it. Uh, no, I don't need finding Francoise. Why? <coughs> Excuse me. Why, why, why? Where did... Uh... We'll get to all of them. We've got to do these <laughs> slightly one at a time-ish. There we go. We're still in the right direction. Yes, we are. Well, I'll tell you what, this is the blood of many a fallen man and beast. Do not be slating a witcher. Not that we're dishonourable types. We wouldn't kill you outright. So you're oh. a vampire first and then murder you. <laughs> I'm just dribbling. Oi, oi. Right, let us see about getting at least this basic deck sorted out. I wonder if this is where the uh, the tournament's held. The tournament. Am I too late to sign up? <laughs> Anyone willing to play the Skellige deck? All their mates are moved with ease, yet every last one is free of disease. Letter from Count Monier's brother. What is this? What's this? General Kipper Quail, a gardener. Ah. Oh, right, yeah, fair enough. My dearest brother, I'm so excited to hear you will be organising a tournament where the players will be able to test the new faction. I think this is a fabulous idea. Unfortunately, I won't be able to make an appearance. My health has taken a sudden turn for the worse. The medics don't seem much hope for me. Oh well, everyone shall have their turn, as our father would say. I've had a good life and do not regret anything. Well, except perhaps for a few choice cards I lost over the years, but you cannot gain without risking something. This very well may be the last letter I write to you, so I'd like you to know I am very proud of you. A Gwent tournament using the new faction? That is the idea of a lifetime. Do not worry about those who oppose your changes, and indeed the notion of change itself. There shall always be malcontents. Those such as yourself should let intuition guide them and follow the path of progress. Where would our world be today if we allowed our nearsighted, the unimaginative, to steer our affairs? No doubt stuck in a dark cave with the warming fires of illuminating candles beyond our reckoning. Thus I retain high hopes for your tournament and wish it all the best. I believe it shall soon be the finest and most prestigious Gwent tournament in all the world. Your brother, Igor. I assure you, Skellige is just as strong as the other factions. It shall soon be considered canon. Of this, I'm certain. I don't know. Always been an Ilfgaard man myself. I must give it some more thought. Geralt of Rivia. Saw a notice about a Gwent tournament. By all means, you've come to the right place. I am Count Martin Monnier, organizer-in-chief. Our tourney's more than mere diversion. We've a mission, see? To spread word of my brother's brainchild, Skellige, a new Gwent faction. We have met this. These new cards, tell me something about them. Their design embodies the Isle's spirit. The rage-filled potency, the rough, brutal beauty. Famed Skelligers, heroes of lore, berserkers and beasts, Ogolas from the cards. Bran Twirsek. 
is the faction's leader, of course. And the other famous Skelligers? Yalmar and Ceres on Kryte, naturally, though not conjoined. Also Hemdal the hero, the venerable druid Ermion, the list goes on. That's pretty cool, actually, because we they're all our friends. New tech? Where'd you get the idea? I mean, why bother? All Beauclair knows me as a great lover and promoter of Gwent. My brother, dead for some time now, was known to be the same. We shared another great passion, travel. Spent a great many years at sea in our youth, marking out our territory <laughs> in multiple corners of the world. Yet the one that truly grabbed us by the stones were the Skellige Isles. The stormy sea consumed by a fever, a suicidal awe, dashing itself against somber cliffs. That is the image I retain. It and others like it inspired my brother to defies the new faction. That's fair enough, you know. Um, I love the Skelliger Isles. The tournament. Where do I sign up to play? Right here with me. I've one slot open, but there's a condition. You must use cards of the Skelliger faction. You see, I've already asked a great many seasoned players to do the same. Alas, all fear novelties, disdain process, care too much for the climax for winning. So they insist on playing with their tried and true decks. Long story short, you need a sucker who will risk it. Take a stab at proving Skelliger's no worse than the established decks. Best way to do that would be to win this tournament using your brother's cards. We understand one another perfectly, I see. Behold this trophy, standing stiff and strong. It could be yours if you win. That would, uh, excuse me, that would be cool. But yeah, I'm down with trying out the deck. All right, I'll give it a shot. Play using the new faction. That is an exceedingly good rub to my loins. Just one small adjoinder. I can only provide you a basic Skellige deck. My brother, alas, gave away or lost many key cards. No chance I can win the tournament with these cards? An issue easily resolved. You must simply face local Gwent competitors, win the missing cards from them. Besides, it would be very good practice for the tournament itself. Here, the cards I can spare you. Take them, please. The rest I keep for myself, for I too intend to play as Skelligan. Ooh, I bet you end up with a Skelliger off at the end. What is this thing? That's nutty. That would be pretty awesome. That would be pretty darn awesome. Um, mon ami? Not much, matey. Not much. Um, looks like we have... Hello. Keep. are you the Quinter? Wipe your boots before you take another step. Don't slurp your food. Don't eat with your hands. Don't pick your teeth with your knife. What? Oh, I'm just jesting. You, sir, clearly were not born in a barn. Welcome to the pheasantry. The best auberge in all the duchy. Auberge, eh? Oh, <laughs> it's terribly British. Auberge. What are you serving up today? Terribly British. Auberge. Oh, hello. We've got some cards. We've got some cards. What do we have? Uh, ghouls and a harpy. Uh, yeah, we'll have them, why not? Now, these... These drinks, some of them are well worth it, but uh, at the moment I think we're okay. Yeah, I'm still... If anybody knows what happened with those Gwent cards that I was supposed to pick up, that would be amazing. Because I don't know what happened to them. All of these games are 50 gold a pop. I know you're busy, but... Round of Gwent. Eat, drink and be merry. Thus the prophet Leviosa. Um, so we have a basic... Oh, look at the basic deck of Skelligers. That's really quite cool. Oh, we've got a huge amount as well. Now, which one of these guys are actually affected by... You're affected by the mushroom. We've got two mushroomers. And a whole bunch of others. Oh, cool. Well, we're going to have to build that Skelliger deck up. I haven't uh, messed around with it yet. Let's... See if we do well with the monster deck again. For now. Hey, 
except she's a monster deck. I didn't realise she was a monster deck. Why? Oh, that's good. Uh, okay. Not masses. We don't want all the weather cards. In fact... Yeah, we don't have that much, actually. Cards. Well, we'll get rid of that. Oh, ho Imlarith. Well, well, well. Fancy seeing you here. I don't think we need the decoy either. Right now. Oh, man, we've got the Stormy Weathers one. Earth Elemental. So we picked up uh, this thing. Yes, this ain't a normal storm. There's the Wrath of the Gods. Skelliger Storm. So that blots out their back two rows and ours, unfortunately, but... Torrential rain's a bit rubbish. Ooh, look at you. Well, well, well. Um, let's see. Let's pull the guys out at the front. Got a little necker squad. That's pretty cool. Well, she has. Um, now the vampers are going to be good at one point or another. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. On the back row, not so much anymore. That's good. We could waste that away. Um, I guess we're going to have to use our little gaunter guys. Just to see what... Um, Oh, yeah, of course it pulls it out of my hand automatically. <laughs> Whoops. Him with Thunder 10. If we flatten out his back row, it's going to be worth one. That puts us in the lead quite nicely. And he's wasted a major card. Two points. He's got card advantage on us. Ah, oh, that's painful. I only had the one. Interesting. Uh, let's see. We're getting a bit scuppered because of these. We don't have many unit cards. These are quite a strong bunch. I wonder what he's going to lay down next. If we slap down a 10-pointer, because that's all we've got, really. Let's put this in, because then at least we can use our stormy stuff next time. Oh, man. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> uh -huh. We could go in the lead with Siri. What's that going to do, though? We go for a win. We're going to get to keep a card on the table, at least. She is going... Oh, man, are you kidding me? That's the crones in. Let's let... Just going to keep one card on the board. Let's let her win. and a four. That's cheeky. you got one card. That's it. <laughs> right, all we now need to do is win the next two rounds. So, that's a guaranteed win for this round. Oh, blimey. Did a six and four again, that makes sense. You've got nothing. I have this. Whew. Good stuff. Good stuff. Very awesome. Should be another new card for our deck. Drake Bondu. Drake Bondu. Drake Bondu. Drake Bondu. Drake Bondu. 
crap is that? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Man, yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, Don on Hidmar. There he is. Straight Don Boo. Ooh. Okay, fair enough. Very nice. A double. Double rank buffer type dude. <laughs> thingy. <clears throat> Anyhow, so uh, yeah, let's call it there for today, ladies and gentlemen. We are set for some Gwenty type action. We are set to do whatever we want to do from now on. So let's have a quick peek at our quests. I'm thinking maybe that would be worth continuing with. Turn and face the strange. I think we'll just get back on with that. Because that's where we've been going. What's this? Uh, find the other players and win stronger Skellig faction cards. So we've got two Two missions for this. Never fear, Skellig is here. And turn, turn, tournament. Interesting. All right, turn and face the strange. Where are boots? Is this in the greater scheme of things? I think we're actually out of town. Um. Oh no, yeah, geez, I've got to go check the location of Nirvid's map. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Imagine, who didn't know? So, this map. You are the map we're talking about? Mm, that's not the right button. That is. Uh, right. But that doesn't show us anything. That's just like the local area. Is it not? Big city, tiny little village and a town. Big city, tiny little village and a town. Big city, tiny little village, and a town. That looked right. Yeah, yeah, it's all around the middle pit, but there's no, there's no information on that map. Check the location of Naivde. Oh, right. Okay, we're looking for. Oh, God, I really wish I was um, paying attention sometimes. Come on, game. So, Naivde. It still doesn't show us. <laughs> it makes no difference. We can't zoom in or out. That's a different layout as well. If that's naved in the middle, maybe. The two rivers. A river and a long lake. I will um, stop doing this <laughs> a second. I'm just curious for the time being. Yeah, it's... It is... It is around here. Is it this bit here? No. Right, anyhow, I'm gonna I'm gonna examine this map closer off camera so I don't drive you guys nuts with it. But uh it looks like we have another mission directly ahead of us. Site marked on the map's all wet now. Ah. Sonra Tour flows through there. Must be where the Valley of Pain once lay. Need to explore the location. Oh, cheesy queasy, that's awesome. So where does it think we need to go? Oh we were in the right area. <laughs> Amazing. Turn and face the strange is out in the middle of nowhere. Ah, fantastic. So, there's two more little things. I know I said I was going to call the episode, but uh, I've got a few spare minutes. Let's go check out what this quest is. Master Witcher, what luck to happen upon you. Got work for me? New contract? Uh, of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past. On your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings account. At Chanfanelli Bank, you need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Excuse me? Gotta stop by that bank. Uh, yeah, you do. That's interesting. Armorer. That's cool, man. Can we use your... Armoring type tools. Where's your thing? Over here. Items have been enhanced permanently and forever. 
That's good. There's no countdown on him. <laughs> I love that. So let's have a quick word with you. The best armor around. That is what I forge. Yes. <laughs> um, what do you say we play some Gwent? Ooh. Mm, what do you got there? Uh, what does he have? Lots and lots of things. I suppose we could sell a few items to him that we don't need. Uh, this is nice bits of armor, but again, I'm, I'm happy with our Witcher gear in the main. Maybe we could sell all these, flog them off. Get rid of that. A little bit of extra cash. And these swords will probably be worth more elsewhere. Although, look at Dahlia. Hmm, 150% armor piercing. That's some good bladeage. 350, 275. That's a lot of goodness going on here. Oh, we've got to stash that as well. We're never getting rid of the caretaker spade. That thing's awesome. All right, looks like you just have a ton of stuff. Wow, you've got loads of stuff for the horse. 60, 60. I think ours is better, isn't it? Oh, 60. Okay, anything above 60? Nope. What's this? 90 stamina. Ours is 90. Now, as it's a, equipped to 75. Ooh, we can get something new for the horse. Let's do this. Grapevine saddle horse. Okay. That looks quite nice. What's this one? Um, do, do, do. We're going to buy one of these. What, what do we want our horsey to look like? I think that's quite colourful. That one looks fully armoured up. Yeah, these are all 90s, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Okay. Um... Let's get that one. We'll buy that for old Rochi. That looks good. Uh, and he is. Oh my god, he has tons of stuff. Wow. We're going to have to remember you, friend. Looks like you're worth possibly visiting again at some point. Um, 900. I nearly bought that. Nearly bought that on Reflex. 600, 200. Yeah, just little minor stones of everything. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. I haven't got time for Gwent, unfortunately, so guys. I'm <laughs> sorry. We do have to uh, wrap this episode up. However, we have new goodness for our horsey. And a ton of stuff we can sell as well. Boom! Upgrades! Love it. So we've got a crappy saddle, a bunch of those things. And what's this? That's 5% XP we don't need. That's only 5% gold. Our current one should give us 15% gold. Yeah. That's what I thought. All right, can we sell these last few things to you and then call it a day? You need, you no, I need nothing from you. I need you to uh, mm, buy. You got there? Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Rochi, there we go. Right. Let's see. So that. Uh-huh. And that's in you. That, that, and that. Was that right? Did I do the correct thing? I think so. Everything else was fine, wasn't it? Yeah, nothing else has changed. Good. Okay, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> so long. So long, says Geralt. <laughs> I'll take him up on that, and I shall see you next time. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves, and I'll catch you then. Cheers. <laughs>